Hello everybody, it's Mario Plus 100 back for another video and today I'm going to be showing you all how to create a crazy craft server. So first is a step, go to Microsoft Edge and then basically just type in Boyd's Wraith, uh, the links will be, the link will be in the description below, go to Mod Packs, um, Scroll down, press on Crazy Craft 3. Uh, download the server pack. I already have that downloaded. That's that's um what you do there. Now, open up CMD command prompt. Type in IT config. And then it will show all of your IP addresses. Okay, now that you got that, go into. Oh, hold up, that's a different server that was created. Oh, just type it in a notepad. Of course, I can't show you on my IP. Now, you will have gotten a zip file. I don't know what this is crap is. Now, go to your downloads. What, what is this? I, I think that's from my other thing. Uh, and then you will have a, whoops, hold up, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay, and then you will have a zip file, where's my zip file, frick, um, uh, here it is, open file location, and if you can't find it, just go to this, and then, okay, so, basically, create a new folder, uh, called crazy craft server or whatever you want to call it in this way yeah okay so uh, then get your crazy craft zip dot three zip extract it let me extract all now let's see or no it will create a new folder I'm sorry this might take a bit so I'm gonna show you okay so if you wanna go ahead and port forward type in your IP address up here click firewall click the firewall uh, I'll have directions in the description I'm just telling you click the firewall click NAT gaming of course you have to put in your router password It'll be on the back of your router and then create a click add on the thing uh, I don't know, um, click add, and then, uh, add a Minecraft, and then add it to your computer, and that's how you port forward it, and of course your, uh, IP for people to join would be, search up IPv4, now, uh, Crazy Craft Server should be up here, hold up, here it is. Here it is, okay. And then, um, Crazy Craft 3. It'll be called the Crazy Craft 3. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this, paste it into this folder. Boom. Now, open this. Go ahead and open the Minecraft server.jar. Now, add in all this, all this, uh, stuff. It'll create your world. This is just if one of you want to play vanilla and stuff. Now, just wait for this one and then do stop. Um, let's. It's kind of loading. Okay, there we go. And then you want to open the EULA. Enable that to true. It's already true. Okay, now, here's what you want to do open the crazycraft3.jar and now will just do stuff okay it's just gonna create your modded your modded thing it's gonna take a little while because obviously you're not doing RAM I'll, I'll show you how to do that in a second just give it one second okay It's just, just initializing all the mods, you know? 
it's gonna take a while. Um, while that's loading, I'm gonna show you how to create a bat file and then uh, uh, create a thing where you can use more than a few keyboards. First, create a text document, name it to bat, and then 2GB. To DB. Yes, I want to change that. Now click edit. Now in my war server, I actually do have a bat server in here. So you're gonna open that. Uh, I mean, if you, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this also in the description. So I'm gonna copy this. This is the amount of RAM I can use. You can use as much as you want, it's just like, uh, open up this and then paste it. This is what the formula should be for the bat file, but like, just change this, this is like one gigabyte. Change this to like four gigabytes if you have eight gigabytes or two to, if you have four. Because I have eight gigabytes, but my thing is messed up. Let's see if my four server is done. Crash because it's not using enough gigabytes. I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. Oh, it's not even crashed, this is logging. Um, I'm gonna close that out, of course. Um, I don't, uh, because it's really laggy. Um, so this is just at server properties. Just all this crap. I'm gonna delete this. Delete. Because, don't do this, don't do it. You fill it out, like, based on this. Let my thing stop. Um, so yeah. Um, hold on. Uh, close that with that. Okay, um. Okay. Close out of that. Hold on. He copied that. And then I'm just gonna paste myself into the Crazy Crash server. Let me find the server properties. Paste that. Okay. Save that. Now that's just for like what I want my server to be on. Now, for this 2dgb.bat, click edit this again. It's going to be something else. Now you want to click rename if you want to copy this. Copy. Copy that again. And then paste it where this, uh, and then I'll put it in the description. You want it to do anything. Just paste this formula right there and then save this. It's basically just going to start the crazy crash server. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of mods in here. This or spawn mod, all that, AC, NC, helicopters. And then if I go ahead and uh, start this. Okay. Um, not enough space. Gotcha. Hold on. I'm going to edit this again and give it... Four, 400. I don't know what's wrong with my computer right now. Yeah. There we go. Okay, it's starting. Now, I'm just going to watch this. Alright, it's going to take a little while. Because it needs a little extra gigabytes of memory. I mean, megabytes. They recommend two gigabyte, um, gigabytes, but I can't really add two gigabytes. If you're only having, like, your friends play on it, then it's fine. Do whatever. Use like a few. Use like one gigabyte or what I'm using right now. It's just gonna be glitchy on the startup. Like, see, it's just gonna kind of be glitching on the startup a little bit. I don't know. So yeah, it's just loading.
Okay, so. Because, like. Okay, I'm going to minimize that. And then, so you got all this. I'm going to show you that it works. Because I have mine. So it's going to add in the world. Because I think it is actually generating the world right now. Ah, oh, fudge. There we go. Yeah, it's ahead and might be glitching out a little bit. Alright, so I got my story up. I'm gonna close out this one. I don't know. Um, minimize that one. And then this is the Minecraft server I have right here. It's a tiny bit laggy. And I'm gonna do the help. See what it gives me. Whoa. I don't know what she's doing. Going to Ufu. She's using a heck of a lot of RAM. You know, this could use uh, more RAM, but it chooses not to. I don't know why. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close out this. Now, I'm going to show you that you can join it and how to join it with, on your YouTube channel without showing your actual IP. Um, but first, I have to open Crazy Craft, uh, you know. Hopefully it hasn't crashed yet. Okay. And mine is all dandy started up, you know. Now my voice rest has started up. Just gonna log in. Don't pay attention to that. Um so I'm gonna find Crazy Craft three three. Click play on that, it's still gonna log that. Okay. Wait for that to load. I don't even know this might crash my server. Okay, close out of this, and then Minecraft should open soon. Let me just turn off my desktop audio so it doesn't, you know, do that. So, I don't know why this crap is still up. I'll deal with that later. It's a glitch. Hold up, actually, task manager. I'm going to end that. I'm gonna end that test for the um okay. Hold on. Okay, so I think it's this one was okay, it's this one. Right. Dang it. Wrong one. And that in that, uh, in this, uh, crap, I have to restart the, um, whole process over again, oof, okay, four server, open that, oh shoot, wrong thing, okay, wrong thing, um, um, here it is. I'm currently opening Crazy Bass. There we go. Crazy Craft. Almost done. I only gave it three gigabytes and that's why it's like not able to get as much. It's going to be a tiny bit laggy, I have to tell you that. It's going to be a tiny bit laggy. Tiny bit laggy. I mean, it's not going to be laggy if you give it like 8 gigabytes or something. Is it done? No. So if you give it like maybe 8 gigabytes, it's going to uh, run like a charm. It's uh, not going to be glitchy at all. But if you give it like uh, one gigabyte, it's gonna be laggy sometimes. Sometimes the server might crash if you like have too many people in it. So my thing is currently in here. It's loading. I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if like my server crashed? Whenever I joined, that would be really funny. Okay, be done in about a few seconds.
think it's done yet. Alright, so. Of course, you want to go to multiplayer, yeah. Delete this. Add server. Now, if you want to go to direct connect, that's zero. And it's just basically where you're joining yourself. Now, if you look through this, wow, well, where I joined. Oh shoot, it's overloaded. Oh gosh. Oh lord. Why did I time out? Um, weird. Well. Local host. What are you going to do local host? Oh no, did it crash? Oh crap. Or you can't do local post, but yeah. Since so I'm running it from this computer, I should be able to join. Immediately whenever I join. Oh shoot. That's going to be it for this video. Bye.